Hey guys, I am Dr. Smellgood back with a fragrance review. It has been a hot minute. Today we are reviewing Aqua de Parma. This is Colonia Club. Not to be confused with the newer release, which is C.L.U.B. Yeah. Completely different fragrances. This is the 2015 release and it is Colonia Club. Absolutely fantastic fragrance. Um, the other one I've not smelled, but it gets cut down quite a bit presentation you've got the aqua de parma it's not technically a box container i guess then you have the fragrance inside beautiful classic bottle kind of tapers up and if you can't guess what you're going for with this one coloration is green and it is a green scent that is dominated by mint and it is such a beautiful realistic refreshing mint we'll get there though <laughs> it's kind of funny it's Again, it's been a while since I've done a review and I did this full spill and forgot to hit record so this is actually the second take. I would spray it but I just sprayed it and it's just filling this room up. But we'll hit it up. So top notes, I'll throw the notes on the screen. Mint, bergamot, neroli, lemon, pettigrain, mandarin orange. The mid, you got lavender, geranium, galdamon, and in the base you have not just regular vetiver, Haitian vetiver, ambergris, and musk. What I get from this it is notes from work what i get from this is it is a mint dominated fragrance mint just dominates this one from the, the, the spray and it is such a good mint i've said this already but it's so realistic and it is literally refreshing to the skin you spray it on and it has a cooling effect on your skin similar to i don't know if you guys like menthol or some of the body washes that have the, the tingling refreshing that's what i get when i spray this on uh, I've not cooled it, but I've heard the recommendations of cooling it, and you can even get an enhanced version of that. Um, but other than that, what I take on it, uh, again, just checking my notes to make sure I don't forget anything, um, quality. Aqua de Parma is a niche house. The quality of the ingredients is unbelievable. Absolutely quality ingredients. Very realistic as you can get in modern clones. Everyone says it's natural. Not a lot of clones out there are using natural ingredients. A lot of synthetics, but this smells extreme high quality. Uh, it's a very classic, mature, gentlemanly clone with a modern take, uh, if that makes any sense. Um, I don't think it's dated at all. Um, of course, the Colonia in general is one of the older renditions of a fragrance out there, and this is a modern twist on it. I said 2015. Uh, release it is very realistic and like I said, just so cooling to the skin so refreshing especially on hot days this excels on hot days um, deep deep mint I've said that uh, you have it it's just I don't know how to describe it it's it's green it's herbal and it's just quality mint and like I said refreshing to the skin and then other than that you do have some uh, lavender uh, and neroli comes through as the florals give it a very bright uh, undertone to it and then uh, dry down is just fantastic on this one with a very good ambergris uh, very good and it is technically a eau de clone uh, as you can see I'll show you technically an eau de clone it does not perform like an eau de clone it performs more like a parfum I get anywhere between six to eight hours consistently on this one this is one that is hospital safe. I work to the hospital all the time. Uh, get very good compliments. Um, no one's not liked it. Some people will say on the reviews that it is similar to Green Irish Tweed or Cool Water. I don't get that at all. I don't really think I have anything that does what it does or smells like it smells, but it is fantastic. Um, said long lasting for an EDC concentration for sure projection is good it's not going to blow you out of the waters or anything uh, longevity I'll give it a good longevity like I said six to eight hours consistently and the sillage on it uh, or scent trail is fantastic I've actually gone to the med room uh, a couple times and it's behind locked door and forget something turn around and go right back in and I open the door and be like wow you can still smell it in the med room so the, the scent trail is there even hours after spraying it um, so I highly recommend this one pricing on it I got it at Belks 
I'm wanting to say I got it for 60 think $69 if I'm not mistaken now depending on where you purchase this from it is a niche uh, fragrance it can be anywhere between that price all the way up to you know $200 and this is the 100 ml uh, version or 3.4 ounces um, highly recommend it if you can get it at you know anywhere from 60 to hundred dollars I highly recommend it I said I got it belks use some belk bucks I'm famous for that but uh, Guys, that's really what I've got. Highly recommend this one. If you want a refreshing that literally tingles on your skin when you first spray it, just refreshing, uh, fantastic, different. I could see this definitely being a, you know, a scent that you can wear every day if you want any situation. It does excel in the heat. Or even if you want to do a signature scent, I would say this definitely could be a signature scent. It does feel, feel manly. And I don't have anything bad to say about it. So guys, it's the return of Dr. Smell, good guys. And remember, if you have a fever for fragrance, the only prescription is Dr. Smell Good. I'll catch you guys later. Peace, God bless. It's the return of Dr. Smell Good. And remember, I screwed that up, so we'll get that again. Uh.